when I was showing you around the machine, I also showed you how to plug the machine in and we're gonna plug in the foot pedal. You have a wonderful foot pedal here that has multi-functions. If you see on here, there's a picture of the needle up down. You need to use your whole foot on the foot pedal because when you actually press on your heel, that's gonna do a different function than when you press on your toe. A little tour around your screen here. Not everyone has all of these icons, but you should be able to recognize them on your machine. If we take a tour around here, up here in the corner, that is the needle up down. When you press that and it's in the down position, it will actually stay down even when you turn your machine off and back on again. One of the ways to make that go back up again is to hit the heel of your foot pedal. If I look right here, this is corresponding with your stitch length. That's this knob right here. That will change your stitch length. You can also do it manually if you know what you want. You saw that the screen changed. You can move it up and down this way, or you can hit plus or minus. Over here, you see actually the picture of the presser foot that's on it. This you only use when you're actually getting into combination mode or when you are combining designs. This is one of your most important icons right here. That's your information. Up here, that is actually corresponding with your stitch width. That's this knob right here. And you can see on the screen when you've made any changes. Again, you can go in here and it shows you right there. On the side over here, this icon right here will get to your practical stitches. Some of them you actually turn, um, you have arrows so that you can go different pages. Others you actually push and scroll up. This is for your decorative stitches. Anytime you come up with something that looks like a folder, there are more designs within that folder. Your alphabets, your buttonholes. These are your favorite quilting stitches. These are your favorite stitches, and we'll talk about that a long time. And some of the machines, you can actually, it will tell you what your last stitches were that you had stitched out. Another way to see things that are on your screen is this tiny little arrow right here. When you hit that, all of your stitches will show up in the full screen. It's a little bit easier to find them that way. To make that return, you hit that button again, and that goes back. Over on the side over here, the top one is actually your tension. You don't have an external tension button. The machine actually does all of that internally, but you can override any of it by playing right here. This next one down is if you have a specialty needle in, you want to come in and tell the machine that I'm using a double needle that's a 1.6. That is a safety factor. The machine will not let you do any stitches or go wider than this, that needle will allow you to. It will also remember that when you turn your machine off and back on again. On the bottom of this, you also see your different throat plate types. If you have a straight stitch throat plate on, you want to go in and tell the machine you have a straight stitch throat plate on. Again, it's a safety feature. It will not allow you to do anything other than a straight stitch with that throat plate on. To get out of that, I can X out of it. Right here, it looks like a presser foot. If you touch that, not all of the machines will actually read the presser feet, but you can come in here and tell the machine which presser foot you have on the machine. It really does want to know. So right now, I have the one C on it, and for whatever stitch you have highlighted, it's going to give you suggested feet that are available to be used with that particular stitch. 
The next one down is presser foot pressure. Again, that will change automatically within the machine. You can change it yourself if you want to. This next one down is the same basically as your needle. Only this one shows the throat plate. It's basically the same one. Right here, that's showing that your, uh, your feed dogs are up. If I lower the feed dogs, see if I can, you can see that it's yellow. That means that the feed dogs are down. As soon as I hit that button again, they're gonna come back up again. Now, some of your machines do have a low bobbin sensor. When it gets low, you'll start seeing what looks like a thermometer right here, and it'll start blinking at you. I'm not sure that I really want to play bobbin chicken with this. Sometimes you can make it, sometimes you can't, but it's pretty darn accurate as to how much thread is left on it. So when we're looking over here, the external buttons right here, the home will take you to either the embroidery or the straight part of the machine. The gears right here will take you to settings. The book right here will take you to different things that you want to do on the machine. How do you thread the machine? It's all built in. You do want to keep your manual, but a lot of that information is in your machine already. Next one down is your creative consultant. If you, oh, she doesn't want to cooperate right now. There we go. I wasn't cooperating with it. It will show you what kinds of fabrics are available. It's sometimes hard to figure out what those icons mean, but this question mark is going to be your best friend. You question, you see that the screen turns a little bit blue, it has a question mark in the middle of it, and you touch any stitch or function and it will tell you what that is. That question mark can be used at any time in any screen. If I want to know what this means, question it, ask the machine. That's the information button. On some of your machines, you'll also have the eco button, which means that it is going to put the machine to sleep, but it's going to hold it exactly where you were. I'm not sure that I would leave this on all the time overnight or something like that, but if you happen to go have to go let the dog out, cook dinner, whatever, um, you just touch it again and it's coming back exactly where you left off. The clear button, the CLR button, will change things back to the factory settings.